Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm glad you're here today. Um, right over my shoulder there uh, is that Sun Gold Power 50 amp plasma cutter. Uh, you can see in the video I'll put up here something like that when I got it, which was February 11th, 2019. On February 18th, 2020, I went to turn it on to use it and pop. Dead. Nothing lights up, nothing works, doesn't do anything contacted the company it's a one-year warranty try to see if they'd stand behind their product you know being a day give or take here or there um, they've been responsive back and forth I've seen a couple of videos showing them the machine is dead and and other things like that but uh, to, they finally sent uh, another email saying uh, can I open it up see what is uh, what's blown on it what's fried uh, and then because it's out of warranty they would have to charge me for it but we'll see uh 59 bucks for the high frequency boards what they said but uh so what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna take that put it on the workbench and we're gonna start stripping it down and uh take a look under the coat and see what uh, see what's going on with it um if you guys have that machine or if you're interested or thinking about the machine you'll get to see inside of it we'll get to see what uh what may or may not be uh be blown up uh, and see if they'll uh Send the parts. So stay tuned. Okay, so got the uh, got the skin off of it. Just kind of looking around, I didn't see anything that jumped out at me right up the top. When I turned it on, I could see the spark, uh, the arc, the pop, whatever happened through the uh, through the little ventilation here. Uh, looking at it a little bit closer, that is the only area that I can see any any kind of damage on. You can see the uh, the tracing on the board is is blown off right there. I cannot tell what if that was a component of any sort. Um, there's nothing there anymore. Um, no real pieces, but. Um, can't really see any numbers on what this is so I will have to uh, dig in a little bit more I am going to uh, take that take a picture of that part of the board and show the Sun Gold Power folks um, so that and I don't know which board in here they consider to be the high frequency board but uh, they already quoted me $59 for the uh, high the high frequency board, but um, That's a lot of componentry on that little on that board there uh, We'll have to uh, have to see I don't see anything else in here that that looks looks amiss these uh, These MOSFETs in here all look to be Look to be okay. Um, don't don't look to be popped or cracked or anything like that. So, all right. So it's been maybe a little less than a week since I started uh, this this video. Uh, I told you I'd keep you posted. What I found out, you saw the little repair I had tried. Uh, contacted the uh, Sun Gold Power and. They determined it was a, uh, a board that had gone bad, and supposedly that's what's in this, this bag here. So I'm going to open it up with you and see what we've got. And uh, we'll go ahead and swap it out. See if it comes back to life. So the board was $59. Uh, they did not cover anything under warranty, even though, um, you know, I bought it on February 2019, uh, on the 11th or 9th or something like that, and it crapped out on the 18th or 19th or something like that. But uh, it's actually a wooden box. So 
over a little bit so y'all can see what I'm getting into. Check that out. That's actually a wooden box. That is wood. Taped all to hell, but uh, don't find that very often. Okay, there we go. This is the same board that came out of it. This here, if you remember, this here is what had blown up. And I'll pull that other board out of there and and, uh, and show you guys again, recap it. Uh, there is some, um, I can read a part number of some sort on this one, on the one in the in the machine it is illegible so I'm guessing it's that that blew up and the number or the code on this board looks like a B3 so I will have to figure out what that is and again here's this little connector that just goes off into nowhere I'm not quite sure what that is uh, this looks like an AC-DC rectif or a, a rectifier here, um, taking the AC current into DC. So, wow, 4 18, 2017 So this is uh, over three years old. The other one's much newer than that, version 1.4. But uh, let's tear into the machine, get this thing swapped out, and see if it works now. All right, so I got it all buttoned back up, plugged back in. It's kind of funny this new, uh, the new board being just a little bit wider interferes with this, the hose just a touch. It hangs outside the frame. Um, I had to kind of really wiggle it to get it inside the frame here. I'm concerned about this screw going in and contacting one of the, uh, one of the traces on the board. Um, I don't know, I may leave that screw out. Um, we'll see. But what I'm going to do now is get it hooked up and plug it in, and then we'll uh, see if she's working now. Okay. Here we go. We have life, so the dial is working as well. So let me uh, let me turn the camera around. I'll grab a piece of piece of metal and let's, let's see how see how it cuts. All right, so I got a. 20 gauge sheet of 316 stainless real small just scrap stuff laying around so uh, let's see uh, see how this thing see how it cuts
<sighs> Don't know what that could be, but we got power now. And I was trying to figure out why it's not uh, not lighting an arc. All right, guys. So that board did not fix the issue, but I tried it off camera. Plugged in it, plugged it into 220, and these uh, IGBT MOSFETs exploded uh, when I pulled the trigger on the on the torch. This one exploded. This one. Looks like it started to explode. These other, and then this one really exploded. This one looks to be perfectly fine. Uh, contacted the Sun Gold Power folks, and they've sent me a new board for it, twenty-eight dollars. So right now, I'm fifty-nine dollars for this board and twenty-eight dollars into it for this board. So uh, kind of getting up there. Um, Two hundred and some dollars. I don't want to spend a hundred and something on parts. Um, I'm gonna swap this board out. See if it fixes our issue. Um, if not, I'm gonna chunk it in the garbage and figure out something else. Uh, here's the new board. Uh, comes in from Shenzhen, China. So before I get to uh, opening that, I'm gonna. Take a little uh, sanitizer real quick. Uh, no coronavirus, right? Supposed to live on surfaces for three days or something. I don't know. Cheers. This crap's getting out of hand. All right. So we're going to tear into this. Throw that new board in there. See, uh, See if it works. All right, so there you go. Got that board swapped out. Did a little time lapse. Took about 11 seconds to do that. Anyways, uh, so here's the the board, a uh, little transformer here. I believe this is the uh, an inductor. Um, I believe I don't know if that could go bad, but here's those IGBT uh, MOSFET the transistors. Here you can see just blew the legs off of them. What I see that's very curious is right in this corner kind of where that trace catches there's a burnt spot um make, makes me wonder if that arced over but the legs that this attaches to these are all plastic so they should be non-conductive i don't know um but that's it's really interesting i can see a little burnt spot there but I have ordered some more of these and on the other the other board uh, that's not it but on this board here um, I've ordered it's a, a KBL 410 bridge uh, bridge rectifier um, that uh, looks to be what blew on on that board so um, when that gets in, I'm going to try and solder those back in and maybe have a backup spare uh, for this if this works. So we are at that point in time. I'm going to go ahead and plug everything in and get the air to it and we're going to see what we get. Fingers crossed it's going to work. If not, you'll know to buy one of these or not. Can say Sun Gold Power has been very responsive. Uh, not super happy with 
the warranty issue literally this blew on me within a couple of days of the one year warranty uh, damn the luck right feel like they should have stood behind it but they have been receptive and they have been very responsive and they got they've gotten this stuff uh, to me very quickly nonetheless let's see if this thing works Okay, it is plugged in, hot, got air, got all that. I'm just gonna flip the switch and hope everything works out. I'm gonna say it did not. That blew my breaker. So, okay. There you have it, garbage. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this thing. I'm not, okay, I'm done, garbage. It actually worked pretty good for a while, but replaced two of the main boards. And... There you go.